This video, we want to talk about multiplying fractions that are mixed numbers. Mixed numbers, remember, are a whole number and a fraction to it. Noticing that we're going to have 3 and 3 eighths times 2 and 2 thirds. Because the rule for multiplying fractions says multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, the very first thing we have to do is change that mixed number to an improper fraction. Remember, an improper fraction is where the numerator or the top is bigger than the denominator or the bottom. So we're going to take 8 times 3 is 24 plus the 3 to give you 27 over 8. Now, notice we have a top and a bottom to that fraction. Now I can multiply the bottom, 3 times the whole number, 2, gets you 6, plus 2 is 8 over the 3. Okay, now I want to do the simplifying or the reducing or the canceling, depending on what you want to call it. I really like to see the 8 and the 8. I'm going to reduce or divide by 8. 8 goes into 8 one time. 8 goes into 8 one time. Now, this is a nice one because I also have the 3 and the 27. I'm going to divide by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 27 nine times. Now, remember, multiply the tops. 9 times 1 is 9. 1 times 1 is 1. And remember, if you have an improper fraction, you must divide. 1 goes into 9 nine times. So 9 is our answer. Another example of mixed numbers is where you have a whole number and a mixed number. But again, the process is the same. We still have to change each of the pieces to the problem into an improper fraction. This right now, we can just put over 1. And then you can reduce it. 1 goes into 18, 18 times. So you know that that equals the 18. And then if I multiply by 8 times 1 plus 3, I'm going to get 11 over 8. Okay, canceling's a little more difficult this time. I can reduce both 8 and 18 by 2's. 2 goes into 8 4 times, and 2 goes into 18 9 times. Now, that's about all I can do on the canceling. So I'm going to take 9 times 11 is 99. 1 times 4 is 4. This also needs to be reduced because 99 fourths is an improper fraction. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to take the bottom number or the denominator into the top number or the numerator. So dividing, 4 goes into 9, 1 twice. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtracting one left over. Bring down the 9. 4 goes into 19 four times. For 16, 3 left over. So my answer is 24 and 3 fourths. I got the 3 fourths from right there. And that is as reduced as that one will go.